Hi guys welcome back to my study guide. If you are new to this channel, this is where I share everything biology and medical science. However, this playlist is strictly meant for sharing the best study guide for biology and medical science. This is for you, whether you are a medical student or a student of biology-related course. Plus, you can as well use this in any other fields. In this video I will talk about how I remember absolutely everything I read in exams, this art is called the active recall. Before we move on please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button to get notified of our new videos. So you have been wondering about what active recall really is. Is it some kind of magic used by the genius student who always ace every exams he writes, or is it just some weird power to remember everything you read? Now let go to the main deal. The truth is, we all have our favorite study technique. You might just read your textbook, or make flashcards, highlight written notes, listen to podcasts, or watch your favorite YouTube videos just like I do sometimes. However, we often do not stop to ask a question, is my chosen revision technique the most effective? Am I maximizing my working efficiency? Am I ensuring that I stand the best possible chance to knock out that scary exam out of the way? A recent study shows that the vast majority of students still use the least effective study techniques. Almost all of my friends and peers in school fall into this buddy trap, as did I until very recently, but I'm sure this doesn't apply to you, does it? Did you know there is a big difference between actually remembering information and simply recognizing it? So, let's explore what is widely regarded as the most effective, high-yield learning technique, the active recall. Normally, we all learn by trying to put information into our brains. With active recall, you learn by retrieving information from your brain. Although this may sound a little bit strange, in practice, it is very straightforward. Active recall involves taking a topic you wish to learn, creating questions based on that topic, and then repeatedly testing yourself on those questions. By forcing your brain to retrieve the information, it ensures that you actively learn it instead of passively reading it. Not only are you significantly more likely to remember the information, active recall makes you acutely aware of topics that you do not understand and that require additional attention. Since incorporating active recall over the last few academic years, I notice the difference in my understanding and knowledge. The pathophysiology of a disease is easily accessible, the key clinical features no longer elude my memory, and the first-line medication comes with little prompting. I hope you understand this. How can you incorporate active recall? Active recall can be easily incorporated into your current study in a number of ways. My method involves taking whatever learning resource you use, whether it be lecture slides, YouTube videos, or your own written notes, and making a list of concise questions based upon the content. When you next revise that topic, go straight to the questions and answer as many as you can without reading your notes. Any questions that you get wrong, go back to your notes afterwards until you can answer the question correctly. We've covered the good side of active recall. What are the downsides? I can sum up the cons in just a sentence. Despite being the most efficient study method active recall is hard work. Continually testing yourself requires significant cognitive effort compared to studying by simply reading and highlighting your notes. It can also be disheartening to struggle to answer questions on a difficult topic, and the temptation to simply read your notes instead can be very strong. But do your best to persevere and thank yourself later. Incorporating active recall into your study methodology has the potential to maximize your learning efficiency and ace those pesky exams. Well, what are you waiting for? Do give this a try. I hope you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and turn on the notifications to get notified of our next video. Bye and see you next time.